Hey, it's Aaron, and today we'll be going through the solution for Dan Locke. This puzzle is level 9 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. This puzzle and many others are available at puzzlemaster.ca. So, here we have Dan Locke. Whole goal of this puzzle open up the Dan Locke, and then close it again with all the keys where they are and all that governs. So, to start with, we just need to remove these off of the key ring. Nothing too difficult. You just spread the key ring like you would, and you can just take them off. Just kind of to hold them in position in traveling. Okay, so we have our two pieces of the key off. Now what we're going to do is leap of faith this. We're going to put the key bit in, and then we'll just snug the other part of the key in with it. Now, this is kind of interesting. If you're just holding it, oh no, you can't do anything. Oh, this is, this is horrible. You turn it upside down, and it doesn't hurt to just give it a little tap. There's a grav pin that once it's upside down, you can turn it. Now, you might have seen this solution from me before, and I was doing a bunch of tapping and stuff. We got contacted and told that that was not the case, that there's just a nice grab pin. And that's way better. That's a cooler solution. There's less finicky. It's, it's good. It's a better way of doing it, for sure. Way nicer. So, we have the lock open, and now we have access to the full key. But now we gotta got that stuck in there. That's not gonna work. Oh no. But we have a left-handed thread here. As I try to turn it the opposite way. Oh boy. Anyway. And gives us a tool. Pretty spiffy. Now what am I going to do with this tool? Well, to start with, we need to turn this back and pretend like that piece isn't going to roll off the table and cause me issues. So, we put that back. So now we actually have access to this little port there, which we're going to stick this tool into. Bam! <laughs> and you just eject that key. So, we now have the lock cleared, and we can put this tool back. Might as well. It's no longer a use for us, other than it's a component for keeping this lock together, as this post needs to go all the way down. Very cool. So, we'll put our key ring on there. We'll put our key on there, and our key ring. And then we will put this like so. All right. <laughs> and then I forget a step. You can leave. You can leave this in here. There's no locking components in this side of the lock, so it's it's perfectly fine. You're not going to accidentally do anything. So we have our big key. We have access to the key. You put it in the right way, none happens. Because this is a neat key, it was actually made to fit backwards. Now, it also, you don't want to insert it all the way. You actually want to insert it part way. So you can see how I have a bunch of the key sticking out. Now, what you're probably going to want to do is you're going to just kind of keep inserting it and kind of just fiddling it about till you feel it give a little bit. And it has a crisp break to it. So you'll kind of feel it just give. You'll just kind of wiggle it back and forth in and out. And you can feel the pins. And I'm not getting it. <laughs> oh, I had it like first try. There we go. Okay, so we've turned the lock. Perfect. Now we can put the key on it. Put the key, put the key ring. Currently the lock is in an open state. So we can close it now, but it's not locked. 
got to turn this again. But we don't need to insert this little part to do so. We actually only need this chunk of the key. And boosh. We are now locked again. If we wanted to open it, we'd have to shove this back in there. But we don't want to do that now. We've solved this puzzle. And we'll just put it back on the key ring. Very nice. Well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we have plenty more like it on our YouTube channel. Haven't had enough? Join our community on Facebook or Instagram. Want more puzzles? We have a massive catalog of puzzles at puzzlemaster.ca.